lose something? Yeah? Yeah, my shoe. Hey, I. are all Cinderella, no matter what our size. Within each one of us, there is a unique beauty and grace. Finding that beauty, however, isn't easy. See, Cinderella had to first recognize that her problem wasn't her evil stepmother. Her, her problem was that it was easier to hide out cleaning the house than it was to go out and find happiness. She needed a fairy godmother to empower her with the kind of self-confidence it takes to reject the insecurity brought on by unrealistic, overachieving, airbrushed, anorexic princess images in the media. You okay? Yeah, I uh, it's Pumpkin. My car broke down. Thank you. You named your car Pumpkin? Yeah, she's a uh, 65 Mustang restored, you know, kind of a pumpkin into a coach kind of thing. I'm at Shine. You, you work here? Uh, it's just part time, you? Yeah. Oh. Hey! Hi! Um, you yeah, so probably don't recognize me standing upright, but this really is my better side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Nola Devlin. You are a computer chip, right? Is that a joke? Apparently. Not a very good one. Um, thank you for, for waiting for me. Joy told me you live near me on the north end, so I really appreciate it. The ride. You did offer to give me a ride, didn't you? Well, I'd be happy to give you a ride. Oh, yeah. You had a Belinda Apples poem. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you end up getting fired? Oh, no, not yet, but I am sure that that's in the works. <laughs> Bad day? Oh. <laughs> when I was in the sixth grade, a boy asked me to a Halloween party. I went as a cheeseburger because that's the only costume that fit. Well, when I got there, I found out that uh, <laughs> you were supposed to go dress as what you wanted to be when you grew up. Yeah, today was worse. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, and my car, the one that died? My dad bought me that car for my 16th birthday. You know, I mean, that car took me to college. I went to the Jersey Shore in that car. That car took me to Boston to see Coldplay. I made out with Ronnie Spillman in that car. <laughs> that car defines me. Defined you, past tense. Hey, look, you know, change is good. Old car dies, new car could be better. <laughs> what about a uh, Porsche? That is my backup fantasy car. Backup fantasy? Well, my fantasy fantasy car is a powder blue 55 Thunderbird. I mean, if I had to break the bank, that would be my sledgehammer. Now you're talking. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm hallucinating. Can afford that car on my salary. Oh, hey, don't let work get in the way of your dream. And I speak from experience. I am all about the dream and so <laughs> not about the job. Girls like me don't drive cars like that. Says who? My low self-esteem. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe it's time for you to grow up, take charge of your life, and be all that you can be. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's the advice my father gives me. But hey, listen, if the whole dream thing doesn't work for you, you can always do what he tells me and demand change. Oh, uh, this one, right here. Right there? Yeah. Thank you 
for the ride. It was very nice of you. Um, can I offer you any money for gas? No, I'm cool. <laughs> All right. It's probably none of my business, but um, I think your father is wrong. I, I don't think you can demand change from people. I think you have to inspire it, you know? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. You ready? my life or non-life i am a plus-size woman in her 30s with a cat in a pastel colored apartment could i be any more of a stereotype i'm underappreciated at work and the only physical contact i get is from my cat am i hopeless can i get out of this rut or should i just buy another cat signed lifeless in los angeles All right, Belinda, what do you got? Dear Lifeless, your cat must be tired of the pity party you've been throwing yourself every day. Maybe if you didn't put yourself down so much, it wouldn't be so pathetic. You want a life? Get one. Grant yourself a wish to change, then stop complaining and do Yeah, I did something. It's good to dream big. Thank you. Being a columnist is a very important, very public position. It's the face of the magazine. Right. You're not a face. You're just a big girl with a big dream. Nice try, though. I wish I had a magic wand so I could instantly make us thin. Like Cinderella, except instead of a ball gown, we'd get hip bones and a waist. Sorry, my magic wand's in the repair shop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time for a fairy godmother. I can't go in there. Can't is not a part of our vocabulary, okay? Together? We have strength. We give each other confidence. Deb. Deb, I mean, listen. Nobody said this was going to be easy, right? We, we should hire a personal trainer. Work out on our own terms. Great idea. What do you think of that? Okay. Okay. Nola? Hey. You work out here, too? No. No, because we already worked out, actually. It was really intense. We had a good one, right? <laughs> this is my friend Nancy, and this is my friend Deb. This Hi. is Chip. He gave me a ride when, when Pumpkin died. Really? Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm going to go in. It's nice to meet you guys. Good to see you. Yeah. Adorable. No, Deb, don't get any ideas. He is too adorable for me. Oh, come on. He would be lucky to have you, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. Cinderella Pact. <phone rings> Mr. Tuckman, everything's under control. See? It stopped. Don't hang up. It's Chip. Chip? How did you get this number? Uh, comp the, the company directory. Oh. Oh, did, did I leave something in your truck? No, I was actually in your neighborhood and was wondering if you wanted to meet for a drink. Meet for a drink? Me tonight? Yes, yes! Uh, yes, 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 yes could yes, you yes. hold on for a second, please? I want to talk to you uh, uh, about this surgery. I'm not having it tomorrow. Are you nuts? A stomach surgery DVD or amazingly hunky guy? <sighs> Yeah, I, I think I could probably make it. Um, where are you? Browns, in a uh, half hour. Tell him you'll be there. 
Half hour, I'll be there. All right, bye. Oh my God. Oh, don't just stand there. Let's get you dressed. Come on, go. Half an hour, what am I, Wonder Woman? Look at me. But you got four hands, come on. Really overdressed. Let's get you a drink. Excuse me. Uh, the lady will have a white wine spritzer. Thank you. I'm right over here. Well, it is a good thing I changed. I was going to wear the exact same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you look nice. Oh, thank you. So, did you buy a new car yet? I rented one, uh, a Volvo. Very safe choice, yeah. but safe's not all it's cracked up to be. Sometimes you need to step outside your comfort zone and take risks to be successful. Okay. <laughs> Another one-sided conversation I've been having with my father for years. Thank you. So what's his definition of success? Someone who's hardworking, responsible, and focused. So you're lazy, Reckless and unfocused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the old me. Apparently, I was avoiding success. Oh, it sounds to me like you might have been avoiding failure. Not a bad life strategy, you know? You never try, you never fail. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It's a very astute observation. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I'm very insightful and intuitive. It's a gift and a curse. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so what am I thinking right now? You're thinking that you don't want to tell me all your secrets because it'll make you seem vulnerable. You're right. <laughs> Never talk about my personal life. All right, I'm going to do something for you here, okay? I'm going to tell you one embarrassing thing about me so that we can be equally vulnerable. It's unfair. I'm a criminal. I downloaded a movie illegally off the internet before it came out on DVD. So you're on the run from the law. Yes, you're aiding and abetting a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What? A woman just walked out of the ladies' room. She's sort of an old girlfriend. Things ended badly. It ended badly like she went to yoga and never came back badly, or she boiled her pet rabbit badly? Go with me on this. What? No. No. <laughs> well, hello. Thought you died. Not dead, just traveling and busy with work and... Mm. That's my girlfriend, Nola. Mm -hmm. Nola? Nola, Devlin, hi, I'm his girlfriend. You are beyond pathetic. You stopped calling me because you're dating this fat lady? No, oh, I stopped calling you because we broke up six months ago. We're over. We're not over until she sings. Oh, what? Hey! Classy, Ange. Thanks. Are you okay? No, love. Wait no, up. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. Angie is a total psycho. I. Please, can I at least walk you home? No, obviously I can take care of myself. What if I just walk six steps behind you? And if I get mugged, you can step in and save me. I'm, I'm an idiot, okay? I, I got caught off guard. I had no idea that she'd be there. I, I never should have used you like that. I'm sorry. You know, you should be sorry. Don't you get it? Girls like me are easy targets for girls like that, you know? You, sh you should never have put me in that position. It was humiliating for me. And believe me, my life is humiliating enough. And you have every right to be angry, but I, I would I never just, want to humiliate you. Oh, one thing, one thing. Why did you call me tonight? To meet for a drink. No, no. You could have called a hundred girls just like that. Why did you call me? I don't know. I, I feel comfortable with you. I thought we could be friends. Well, you have a really interesting way of making new friends, you know? I screwed up. Come on, you've never done something stupid you regret? Never. Do I really need to remind you of the cheeseburger costume debacle? <laughs> I'm really, truly sorry about tonight. No, it's okay. Friends? Sure. 
friends. Good. Hey, so what are your Saturdays like? Oh, well, Saturdays, I, uh, uh I train with Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, I wanted a chance to thank you for, uh, protecting me against danger. I'm working on a new project in L.A. for six weeks. June 13th. Pick up at noon? Sure. Right. Sure, yeah, noon. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Six weeks? Six weeks. Bye. Bye. Who am I kidding? Hot, sexy guy does not want ordinary zofting me. He wants someone like you. No luck. Before we get started, it wasn't gone. We bought it for you a couple of days ago. <gasps> Somehow we knew that you'd need it. And these. Oh. And this, your fantasy car. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin a little expression of what I'm feeling. It's such a statement, so purely confident and dirty passionate. And not to mention, look left, look left, look right, so fly. Can no one else in here compete with me tonight? Look left, look left, look right, that's right. If you look in my eyes, you're gonna. overweight copy editor who couldn't get a break there were people who told me that I was just a big girl with a big dream and um, somehow I let myself believe that so I created Belinda Apple someone I thought I could never be pretty, beautiful confident Someone with all the answers. I used Belinda to protect myself from rejection and failure. I have to be honest with you. There is no Belinda Apple. There's just me. No, the Devlin. But here's the thing inside. Me and Belinda, we're the same person. It just took me till tonight to figure it out. To all the beautiful women that brought me here tonight, just know that you're your own fairy godmothers. So keep dreaming your dreams and creating your magic and writing your own happy endings.
something? Yeah? Yeah, my shoe. Hey, I. But just one last question for Belinda. Yeah? Well, there's this girl. Ah. Uh, well, see, there's always a girl. What's the problem? A few days ago, I poured my heart out to her and told her I thought I was falling in love with her. You've changed your mind? No. I've told her how I feel. But she hasn't told me how she feels. Oh, well, that's not a problem. Because I happen to know she loves you right back. <laughs>